welcome back to the channel and to part three of Gold Run. As you can see, we've got a working railway there. So I'll go back now and show you how I got this all far. of this here is the classic tissue paper and a 50-50 strong mix of PVA and uh, just dipped in pulverized with your hands and then slapped on it's fantastic started to paint the track with uh, a dark brown undercoat I'll dry brush that up and get some more rusty color on the, the tracks themselves on the rails underneath that tissue paper there that's been ballasted because it's difficult to get to so I need to be methodical in the way that I do this I need to get the track cleaned ballasted um, and painted and then ballasted before I continue with this because once I do that it's going to be hard to get in there I do have uh, some gaps around the back so I can actually get in there to do things like cleaning the track general maintenance and also the way the top will work it will allow me to get into here so I can get to all this track yeah so the way this is going I may even end up having some more of this this was all going to be buried all of the spiral but since I've decided to leave that I'm probably going to come down to somewhere around there I think with that piece in the open and then I'll have another tunnel mouth there for that to go in and the same with this section here I'll probably bring a tunnel out right back there so we can get some action uh, and then perhaps going back in around there I like that because it's you know it's it's in a TV set so it needs to be fun so I've kind of made this up as I went along all I want, knew that I wanted was a kind of a a hillside or a mountain with a train going around and going up and coming back down again originally I had the idea to do a kind of a double uh, figure eight a couple of tunnels that side a couple of tunnels that side I've seen I've seen a similar one and I really liked it but it's it's kind of taken shape as it's gone gone along I've laid the track where where I can best lay it given the space and the shape I mean had I just gone up in a kind of a helix and back down then I would have had a uh, kind of a vertical railway and I didn't want that I need the railway to have some slopes and some angles so I want it to go back so the next track will be up here and it's going to come across here somewhere quite a small uh, loop to, to link up with this one quite high but quite short to be honest I only have one more piece of track and some bits so it's getting tight but that's it it's it's come along the ideas have come as I've been laying it and making it and so and as I said in the the title of the last video this is called gold run and it's going to be a gold mine so the mine itself is going to be down in here and there will be places you know, where you'll be able to see inside the layout so that's important that's why I need to model the inside but I won't go into too much detail uh, about that at the moment but that's it so there's going to be gold pieces of gold in the rocks there's going to be gold the, the loco itself will be tra carrying a truck which is going to be full of um, rocks with gold in there so I'll have to either make them with some gold paint or gold spray or see if I've got any uh, iron pyrite laying around that I could pulverize into powder or you know small pieces but anyway that's the idea just testing out some lights I want uh, some light in this section here so these three would be pinned underneath the bridge and then covered and masked they will illuminate this small area here and the piece of track behind there I may 
use this one will be taped over maybe this one this here I could probably use that for this the tunnel that's going to go here another one taped over and then this one will go inside there to light up that tunnel and these are So now I'm just using the bonding mixture that I made to cover the tissue paper mix that I put in yesterday. Very easy to do, very simple. And then I'll just coat this after with a paintbrush and a slurry of the bonding mixture. So there's some of the plaster work done there. It's not all finished. Still got quite a lot to do in here to, to bring the shape of that out. That's got to be very smooth, almost conical going into that tunnel. That's supposed to be a, a naturally eroded uh, tunnel into a kind of a very cavernous landscape. pleased how this is evolving if you look I'll lift it up you can see how I've modeled the underside of the track there to kind of go down into this naturally formed tunnel almost it's tube like okay one last thing I'll add is the loco I'll keep the chassis, but the body's going. I'm going to scratch build uh, something more fitting in the 009 H09 scale to suit the railway. Well, I hope you enjoyed part three of this little project. If you did, then please help the channel, give a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing with this and the other projects, please subscribe to get updates when I bring them out. So that's all for now. All the best and I'll see you soon. Take care.